Okay, this is She Smells. This is like my second time trying to get to this, but let me get to it. Um, I wanted to share some fine fragrance mist, some more of them, because on another video I sh shared my Bath & Body Works ones. And I want to share Victoria's Secret this time, just to show the rest of them. I don't have nearly as many Victoria's Secrets. Um, and I have a few that would go in the other category, like just some other fine fragrance mists that I've picked up at like TJ Maxx and Marshalls. So um, let's get into it. The first one is Bare Vanilla. And Bare Vanilla, if you don't have this, go ahead and get it because this would have to be, I would say probably the best vanilla scent for me. Uh, I don't like the ones that come out like in Bath and Body Works like during the Christmas time they're too vanilla -y for me they almost smell to me like the actual flavor of vanilla like edible uh, edible vanilla which this is not oh this one is so good because this one is with vanilla and soft cashmere so there's a little something else in there and it just smells more adult and it doesn't like I said it doesn't smell edible like this one is a very wearable vanilla and i love that you can layer it you can layer this with with pretty much any one of your perfumes any perfume you want to sweeten up and most perfumes have vanilla as in the base note anyway so this one can easily probably be layered with darn near every perfume that i have so bare vanilla the next one here is coconut milk and rose. The reason it's in fall winter is because I see this as being like a year round scent. It smells really good. It it has a little bit, I want it doesn't smell like pure pure seduction, but it has that same vibe. Uh it to be coconut milk, it doesn't really smell like coconut. There's something in it where I guess the rose where it balances it out, it just smells good. It's hard to describe. It doesn't smell like coconut. It doesn't smell like rose, but together these two just smell really, really good. And as you can see by my dent, there was a point where I was really just wearing this out. So, and I think that that one might still be available. I haven't actually been to Victoria's Secret in a while. And girl the last time i went i pretty much just walked through i didn't even see not one thing it was the semi-annual sale that i wanted or needed and i walked in and pretty much walked out and i was like oh well up to bath and body works i go but um this one is rogue elixir number two and i actually like this line came out like a couple years ago i guess i'm just going to call it the elixir line I love the packaging on it, the simplicity of the packaging, and it it just, this one smells good. This one is red currant and almond cream, and this one could be easily layerable too because there's not a ton of notes in it. You could layer this or wear it alone. It's just a sweet smelling red currant scent, but then that, that almond cream sweetens it up a little bit, so that was Rose Elixir. I love that red bottle too. This one, also from the Elixir line. I wore this one a lot. You can't see the dent, but I wore it a lot. It is the Flair Elixir number seven. And this one is pink pepper and rose. I already know. Scarlet rose and pink pepper. And the only disappointment with this one is that it was not strong enough for me. But I found myself layering it with like a Shagoff Oud or some of my Oudi. Arabian perfumes because it is scarlet rose and pink pepper and a lot of those Arabian fragrances the ones with the oud will have rose and pink pepper so I just used it to layer but this one like I said is not I wish that it was stronger because it's the exact notes that I want but it's just not it's just not strong enough and I've used it down probably halfway and it's on the fence I don't know if I would declutter it or if I should just keep it, maybe I should just keep it because it's like, I can't see it. There's a nice amount in there, but ah, disappointing um, projection on that. Okay, the next one, which I sniffed it first, 
is Jasmine Allure. Oh my goodness, this one smells so good. It's a very strong scent. The projection is there. It says Blooming Jasmine Purple Passion Fruit. And it just smells really good. I mean, I picked it, I smelled it, and I just picked it up. And yeah, this one is linear, but it has a perfume vibe to it. Like it, it's it's just really good. It's sweet, but then dark at the same time. And that's Jasmine Allure. And I don't know, I don't think that they have that one out anymore either. Here's another one, which is Champagne Petals. And there was a period where I was just really, really into champagne type of scents. And so I just went ahead and got this one too. I didn't even go to the store. Like I bought this off of somebody on Mercari. And it says crisp, crisp champagne and frosted berries. And you know, I love berry scents. So I just got that because I was on a kick where I had rosé champagne. I just had so many champagne, anything that was champagne or Anything like that, I would just pick up and buy. And it smells good. I have no complaints. It does smell good. Okay. This one is Bombshell Passion. This one smells really good. I know that there's cases in there, I think, which is like the leaf of a rose, maybe. And maybe some black currant. That's definitely what it smells like. It smells on the dark side. Um, I do like the square bottles. Yeah, I purchased this, but it is a linear smell. It has a rosy kind of berry scent, and but more on the rose side for sure. I pretty much bought this because it does smell good, but I was thinking I could probably layer this one as well. And I probably will. Like anything that has rose in it, but the rose isn't showing up enough, I will layer this with it. So that's going to definitely stay in my collection. This one is a good one. This one is Tea's Candy Noir. This is really good. To me, this one reminds me of, and it's not exact, but this one reminds me of the perfume Narciso Rodriguez for her. And I think Narciso Rodriguez has a few of them. Like there's one in a black bottle too. Maybe it smells more like that one. But that's what this reminds me of. But it's a little less musky and a little more sweet than Narciso Rodriguez. But that's what it reminds me of. So that's a really good one to have. And yes, as you can see, because these two, they actually make the perfume versions. But I just got to the point where I was like, you know what? I'm not paying all this money for these Victoria's Secret perfumes anymore. Just get the mist. They make the mist. And then they put the mist on sale too. Like, yeah, the regular price of this was $25. i am sure I didn't pay $25. They have the lotions too um, to match those. But I don't really recommend Victoria's Secret's lotions. They're kind of thin. Okay, another one is Victoria's Secret Cherry Elixir number 33. I bought this one because I don't have a lot of cherry scents at all. I've only owned two other like cherry perfumes. So cherry isn't like a note that's used quite often. I do like it. It is cherry, but then it's also, cause it says black cherry and liquid amber. And yes, it just smells like cherry and amber or cherry and vanilla i know vanilla is not listed but it has a creaminess it's like cherry on top of some type of a creamy kind of scent i think a lot of people were like on the fence about this one i like it but um i don't think it's a blind a blind buy because everything i've ever read or seen on this one it's like people hate it or they love it so and some people did compare it to Lost Cherry by Tom Ford. Uh, I don't know about that. I've never smelled Tom Ford Lost Cherry. Um, this is a very linear scent. Um, so I don't know if Tom Ford Lost Cherry is linear or not. I have to get my nose on that one day. Like even when I'm out shopping, just smell, just test that one to see if it is the same out of curiosity. But yeah, Cherry Elixir. Not much more to go here. Then I have Mix Bar Vanilla Bourbon. This is another really, really good vanilla scent. And I think for me, I'm only going to 
ever used probably bare vanilla and then this one yeah this one is another one that for some reason it doesn't smell edible it smells adult it smells perfumey and that's what i like because vanilla is not it, vanilla is actually my mom's favorite favorite nope she loves vanilla scents so with her she'll probably do any old vanilla <laughs> i've bought her so many vanilla scents over the years and she always says that she loves them that's her thing but for me ugh, it has to be like this type of vanilla because it says vanilla bourbon i don't have the notes on it and this one actually says which i'm just now noticing is hair and body mist yeah it just smells really good really good and they're not the same this and bare vanilla are not the same but they both have some that something about them that it doesn't taste excuse me smell like a edible vanilla it it smells like a vanilla that's very wearable and adult and kind of sensual that's the vibe that it gives me then i have black cherry tonic also by mix bar and blackberry tonic i think that they've said that it smells like that perfume amethyst which i had amethyst and i decluttered it i had amethyst and it's crazy because so many people love amethyst i just couldn't get with it and i ended up decluttering it but this it reminds me of it but it's maybe it's not as potent as amethyst and maybe that's why I like it because this is a body mist so it's a little lighter because yes that amethyst now that I think about it was so heavy and strong it's in a purple bottle and a lot of people love it it does smell good but for me it was too heavy and too screechy on me but this does smell pretty much like it I agree but it's lighter so I'm gonna go ahead and keep this one then sitting back here I have a white by Kenneth Cole for her and it is a woody fragrance and this this right here it is a perfume but I got the mist version because it was like a perfume that I like I didn't love but there are people who rave rave about this Kenneth Cole white it is a woody perfume uh, excuse yeah it's a woody perfume this is the body mist people compare it to like twilight woods you know some uh, that type of scent that's what it kind of reminds me of too but there are people who just love this when i bought this the cashier said "Ooh, this is a good one um i remember her making that comment so it does smell good i i also have sunrise woods i don't have uh twilight woods i compared this one to sunrise woods and i actually like this one better than sunrise woods but it's almost like if you have one, you don't necessarily need the other. But, you know, I'm a collector and I love my scents, so I'm fine with having both. Then, right here, I'm just going to go ahead and share that Pink Sugar, the perfume, they also have the body mist. I'm probably going to end up decluttering this because I actually have the perfume. I don't know what I was thinking. Because, you know what, the perfume is so strong, you really don't need the body mist. I, for some reason, I was thinking I was going to layer it, but you know what? I don't really need to. So I'm probably going to declutter it and let somebody else give it some love because I have so much in my collection that I have the perfume. I really don't need the mist, but they do make the mist, so I wanted to share that. I think I got it at TJ Maxx or Marshalls. And anything that I can link below, I'll link below. Okay, last but not least, and I'm only sharing it because it's in my collection, Although I don't plan to keep it. This is Velvet Petals. So many people love Velvet Petals. I've seen so many good reviews. I've never heard a bad thing about it. To me, it's just sweet. It says Lush Blooms Almond Glaze. And I'm going to declutter it because it's good. But I don't reach for it. It's sweet. It just has a sweet scent to me. I don't... To me, it's nothing special. But it's not bad. It's just... It's just not that exciting. And if I have a sweet uh, perfume like Pink Sugar that's sweet and, and it's to me it's more diverse, I guess, is the best way to it. It's not like this is just linear and it's sweet and that's fine, but it just doesn't excite me. So I'm going to go ahead 
and let somebody else love it rather than letting it go bad in my collection. So that was the rest of my body mist for fall winter. Um, pretty much the Victoria's Secret and others. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Keep watching. I'm going to bring you more. I know this one was short, but I at least wanted to share what um, I have. And also, oh, I also wanted to say that I have not been shopping at Victoria's Secret a lot. I actually went on their website before I got on here and they had a few that were out for spring. So maybe I'll get in the spring, I'll get some of their spring line, but for fall winter, this is going to be it for me pretty much. I didn't see anything that was exciting. As you can see, my a lot of my mists that are on here weren't even like from any recent collection. I don't know what's up with Victoria's Secret. But I'm not going to count them out because there's been a ton that I've, I've loved. And then also, is it me or does it feel like they're just recycling the same scents over and over and over? When I was looking at the more perfume ones, it's like the same perfumes all the time. Like, I don't know. I just need something else from them. But I'm going to give them a go again in spring and see what they have. But for now, I'm just going to stick with this. Anyway, I'll link whatever I can below. And thank you for watching.